Arabic Grammar, Level 1 Lesson 1 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala khatim al-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen Nabiyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa tabi'ayna lahum bi ihsan ila yawmiddin All praises for Allah, the Lord of the worlds and peace and blessings be upon the seal of the prophets and messengers our Prophet Muhammad and upon his family and companions and all those who follow them in righteousness until the day of recompense. Insha'Allah, in this lesson we'll cover words, kalimat, sentences, jumal, the nominal sentence, al-jumlatul ismiyah, al-tadrib, practice, and vocabulary, mufradat. Kalimat. Words in the Arabic language are divided into three categories, which are each divided later into further subcategories. They are 1. The ism, noun, 2. Fi'al, verb, and 3. Harf, particle. 1. Ism, the noun, which is defined as a word which indicates upon a meaning within itself but is not connected to any of the tenses of time. For example, Khalid, Sara, Mecca, and Tree. 2. Fi'al, verb. A word which indicates upon meaning within itself, along with being connected to one of the tenses of time. For example, Qul, say, which is a command form, Dhahaba, went, which is the past tense, and yaqra'u, reading, which is the present tense. And three, particle, harf, a word which indicates upon a meaning in other than itself. For example, wa, and, lam, not, and lal, if. Sentences in the Arabic language are divided into two categories. One, the nominal sentence, Al-jumlatul ismiyah, which indicates upon a state, such as Khalidun Masrur, Khalid is happy. And two, the verbal sentence, Al-jumlatul fi'aliyah, which, indicate, which indicates upon an action, such as Dhahaba Khalid, Khalid went. The following chart shows us the breakdown of what we have taken so far. At the top you have Arabic, Al-Lughat al arabiya divided into word, the kalima, which can also be made into phrases, murakkab, and sentence, jumla. Words are divided into ism, the noun, fi'al, the verb, and harf, the particle. And sentences are further divided into jumla ismiya and fi'aliya the nominal sentence and the verbal sentence. And now we will focus on the nominal sentence, al-jumlatul ismiyah. The jumla ismiyah nominal sentence consists of two parts. The first part is the subject, mubtada, and the second part is the predicate, khabr. In English, the subject and predicate are separated by the helping verb, is, am and are. In Arabic, this meaning is understood. So in this sentence, we have an example, Muhammadun Masroor, meaning Muhammad is happy. So Muhammad is the mubtada, the subject, and Masroor is the khabr, or predicate. And the particle is, is placed between to indicate on the nominal sentence in English. Example 1. Ahmadu khaif. Ahmad is scared. Example 2. Musa radin. Musa is pleased. 3. Salihun jaw'an. Salih is hungry. Don't forget to add the helping or auxiliary verb when translating into English. Here is an example from the Qur'an. هُوَ اللَّهُ الَّذِي لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ عَالِمُ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ هُوَ الرَّحْمَانُ الرَّحِيمُ 
but we are going to focus on the first part of the sentence. Wallah. He is Allah. The word huwa, meaning he, is in the place of the mubtada. And the lafdul jalala, which is the, the name of Allah, is in the place of al khabr. And it is not appropriate to refer to our Creator as being in a grammatical position, therefore, we refer to his name as his name Allah as the word of majesty. Lafdul Jalala. Practice one. Read the following sentences and then translate them into English. Such as Muhammadun Jawan. Muhammad is hungry. Practice two. Translate the following sentences into Arabic. Ahmed is scared. Ahmed khaif. 3. Indicate which part of the sentence is the mubtada and which part of the sentence is the khabr. Vocabulary. Vocabulary 1. Al-alam. Names. What indicates on a specific entity. Note, names of people and places are not translated. They are only transliterated by writing them in English letters. For example, Khalid is written as Khalid. Vocabulary 2. Al-Mubradat. In this table, there is a list of feelings. Shu'ur. Alhamdulillah, we covered the different types of words, ism, fi'al and harf, and sentences, al-jumlatul ismiya wal fi'aliya, in the Arabic language, and looked at the parts of the nominal sentence, al-jumlatul ismiya, which was the mubtada and the khabar. In the next lesson, we will cover some different types of nouns, inshallah. May Allah make your journey to learning Arabic easy and give you meaning and pleasure in your prayer. Ameen. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik, ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. How perfect you are, O oh Allah, and I praise you. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but you. I seek your forgiveness and turn to you in repentance.